Hi everyone, welcome to Be Young Your Knowledge. So today we are going to be reviewing the folic acid pathway. And before we continue, I would like to share with you Hebrews 4 to oh, sorry. Hebrews 4 12 and says that for the word the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two edged sword. Patient to division of the soul, <coughs> of the soul, of spirit, of joints, and of marrow, and descending the thoughts and intention of the hearts. Amen. Well, now we know that we have the bone marrow over there, which produces the blood vessels, blood vessels. Yeah. So Hebrews 4.12, a folic acid pathway. So we continue here uh, in Jesus' name. So let's just talk about the folic acid pathway. So the folic acid pathway, so basically we need to start with folic acid, makes sense. And then folic acid is need the code to be dehydrofolate, okay? So need to go to be dehydrofolate now this dehydrofolate doesn't doesn't happen by itself it needs a an enzyme and this enzyme is called dehydrofolate reductase so that means that you are going to reduce your your folic acid um, using the enzyme reductase so and then the dehydrofolate reductase and now you have your dehydrofolate now this dehydrofolate needs to go to be tetrahydrofolate, okay? But remember, you need an enzyme also to go to tetrahydrofolate. So let's just talk about tetrahydrofolate. So what is the enzyme that is going to convert dehydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate? Well, I think that this is the pr two things for the price of one, okay? So this is a good deal. So it's going to be dehydrofolate reductase so basically you have half of the pathway and you just need to remember one enzyme and the enzyme is called the hydrofolate reductase now this this the hydrofolate reductase one time is converted to tetrahydrofolate need to come back to be the hydrofolate so whoa so that's mean that needs good to come back okay well so in the coming back need an other enzyme because you need to Synthe you need to do synthase and then the enzyme is called thymidylate synthase thy me delayed and it's not delay it's not thymidylate synthase okay well you say oh yeah but now we have two enzymes oh everybody say oh okay so dehydrofolic reductase and time delayed synthase. Okay, well, the thing can I stop here or not? Well, I don't think so. So now we need to go to do carbon. So because the purpose of this is to 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 bring uh, DNA and RNA. So how this is going to happen? Um, this is going to happen. Um. Yeah, it's easy. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so tetrahydrofolate go to be one carbon donors. Okay, so it should be. Uh, let me just continue the pattern. So one carbon donors. So one time you have your one carbon donors, you have three things that we need to to add here. So let's just do one on the top, <coughs> two, and three. Okay. So the first one that we're going to see is called thymidylate acid. Thymidylic acid. <clears throat> so one carbon donors to thymidylic acid. This thymidylic acid needs to go to another place called needs to go to DNA. Got it? Now the other one that we're going to see when one carbon donors is called amino acid synthesis. 
which is this one here and we know I said synthesis wow so that means that when you when you when we need folic acid for all those things and remember folic acid needs the <coughs> Folate and folate is the vitamin B9. So that's mean that each time that you consume vitamin B9, which a good source is uh, vegetables, and don't overcook your vegetables because otherwise you lose the properties because uh, it is uh, uh, this vitamin is a kind of I, I shouldn't say weak, but it's not as uh, as strong as oil in heat. So well, also it's a water soluble vitamin, so we need to consume daily. Well, yeah, so because we need it to produce for the DNA, we need it for amino acid synthesis, which amino acid synthesis has plenty of things to do. And also we need it for one more thing. And this is very important because every day we need all those things and it's called purines. And purines is going to produce, what do you think is going to produce? That sounds like, that sounds like to me like DNA, yes, you are right, and also, and RNA, whoa, okay, good job, so basically, this is, I mean, this is super good, now, this is the folic acid pathway, now, this folic acid pathway has something to do here, so and we because there are some drugs that can block the beginning of this and we will see right now okay so let's see uh-huh yeah so i just opened this new slide here okay um yeah there we go that is okay so what was the first thing that we learned Yes, dehydrofolate reductase. So dehydrofolate reductase can be blocked. So this one, dehydrofolate reductase, can be blocked. Yeah, this one can be blocked. By which drug do you think that we can give to the patient that is going to block this? Yeah, you're right. So it's called methotrexate. Okay. Meto. Metotrexate, yes, there we go. Metotrexate, uh huh. Now, <clears throat> metotrexate block your dehydrofolate reductase. So, that means if you block there, so you cannot produce DNA, you cannot produce amino acids, you cannot get purines, you cannot get DNA and RNA. No, we can't. So, but that is something we call the rescue. And the rescue, it is going to be. I will let you know soon. I just uh, check. So, who is going to rescue? Okay, so let's just do it here. So, it's going to be folinic acid. So, remember that the pathway was folic acid to be until tetrahydrofolate, until donate. But now, since methotrex is blocking the enzyme, the hydrofolate reductase, you cannot get your tetrahydrofolate. But we can go directly to tetrahydrofolic using folinic acid. Now, folinic acid is also known as a leucovorin. Got it? And then you go there and then you can continue doing your normal pathway. Well, that is one more enzyme. Usually, when in 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 in, in farm, uh, well, <laughs> this is that we do, or we stimulate enzymes, or we block enzymes to to for the process, or we give the 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 product that the enzyme produce. Okay, so those are some basic principles. So the other enzyme that we can block here is, for example, five FU. I mean, so this is the 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 the, the, medis, the the drug. So so, and then it's going to be. Oh, sorry, it should be red. Yeah, just get it. Okay. So this one can be blocked by five fluorouracil. Okay. So five fluorouracil. Okay. I will write here the all the abbreviations at the bottom, okay? 
I mean uh, here so for example we have um, THF yeah just to, for purpose of remembering th THF DHF <coughs> 5 FU I mean yeah in this corner so DHF is dehydrofolate reductase hydrofolate reductase then DHF is going to be tetra hydrofolate reductase okay um this one we already talked about 5 fluorouracil then we have one more carbon makes sense carbons and yeah so basically all those um yeah <clears throat> so since we mentioned methotrexate is going to blow the hydrofolic reductase let's just talk a little bit more about methotrexate here so methotrexate um So let's just see, see some properties. So methotrexate, it is an folate antagonist. So we mentioned, uh, uh, okay. Also, this, uh, so we use it uh, for non-surgical treatment and of, so when do we use this for non-surgical treatment, treatment of ATX, uh, of an early on ruptured topic pregnancy of an early if it's ectopic pregnancy on rupture should be on rupture ectopic pregnancy okay so remember that during the pregnancy there is still a lot of meiosis and mitosis all those so which is the process of dna and now if you have an ectopic pregnancy you don't want to go that far um i yeah you we need to avoid that um that the patient get complication to for surgery okay um yeah but we need to take decision wisely uh, of our patients always have in mind what we learn and pray to god what we should do the great physician okay so now why is it important well as i mentioned before folic acid is a precursor for nucleic acid synthesis as we mentioned before so now um yeah so then normally folic acid reduce as we mentioned to the hydrofolate all of those things okay so i think that with that in mind so we can um we can mention one more thing here and is that the methotrexate undergoes to polyglutamation so um yeah so go to poly polyglutamation okay and what does the polyglutamation do is going to prevent the movement of methotrexate methotrexate abbreviate I, I should uh, write here of methotrexate out of the cell so basically how this is how that works okay out of the cell and then if you cannot if you cannot come out of the cell so that's mean that it's going to have something <laughs> it's going to be working intracellular and then it's going to to um so it's going to be so it's going to be kind of come out of the cell so stay intracellular for later use so and then it, you can use it later okay um that is uh, also folate and the recycled dehydrofolate also they are stored within the cell via glutamation okay so the other that store other that store intracellularly
is folate and the recycle DHF dehydrofolate okay um yeah so it be the same process via the via glutamination so now yeah so I think that with that in mind so we can um take a break here with that and remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and don't give up okay God bless you all.